everybody. Welcome to Fun Food Friday. Okay, what we're going to be making today is cocktail meatballs. I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, you can do it in the slow cooker if you want. Put it on low, you know, for a couple hours if that's the route you want to go. Uh, yeah, but I fry my meatballs. Sometimes I put them in the oven, but no oven. Mm -mm. The weather's actually beautiful today. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be frying up the meatballs, and then I'll show you what, what what's going on next, okay? Um, when I make the meatballs, I make them, uh, how should I say it? I don't over-season them uh, because of the, you know, cocktail meatball sauce. Yeah, that gives it all the flavor it needs. You don't have to go crazy with it. Uh, but you can make the meatballs the way you make your meatballs, that's fine. I'm using ground turkey. Uh, I prefer that over beef lately. Well, not lately, for a while now. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't think they make beef like they used to. <laughs> I, know it's, I know, it sounds crazy, right? But I don't think it has that same fresh flavor that it did back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, you know, older and all that. Okay, so I got my um, ground turkey in here. I'm just going to add one egg. That's all. One egg to it. Alrighty. Now, I don't know why I put this. I'm going to take this glove off for a minute. I use glove gu gloves, guys, because I don't yeah it gets up under your nails and everything like that i i just i ain't into that all right i'm using plain breadcrumbs but you can use seasoned seasoned breadcrumbs would be fine you could add italian seasoning to it if uh that's how you make your meatballs you know but like i said i make them pretty plain so i'm gonna add i don't even measure I just pour the breadcrumbs. When I mix it, then I get the consistency I want. I am going to add some onion powder and garlic, garlic powder. Ooh, I think I went a little bit on that one. Oh, well, they can't say it's not seasoned. <laughs> And then I got a little bit of, I'm going to put a little bit of this because it's seasoned salt. It's the Martin's season oil. I just want to put a little bit of that in it for some salt, you know. I think it has paprika in it too. But, uh, yeah, that's all. And, um, and I'm just going to mix it up. Now, when you make your meatballs too... You wanna, um, don't make big ones because uh, you want it to fit on a cocktail um, fork. You know, the little plastic forks that you can put in it or a toothpick even, you can even use toothpick. Now see, that looked like a lot of breadcrumb, right? But it's not, it's not at all, so. Let me add some more. Alrighty. Yeah, you can throw Italian seasoning in there if you want. I'm not big on oregano. Mm. Oregano is okay if you don't use a lot of it. Then it, then it would be okay, I think. All right, I think this is um, pretty good. Yeah, so there we go. Nothing much to it. All righty, so I'm going to get the camera over here and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, now... What you want to do is you want to 
let me squat down a little bit. Coat the bottom of your pan with oil, especially if you have lean meat, you want to do that. Uh, yeah. Now, to make the meatballs, let me show you. Like I said, I don't make them big, and it doesn't take long for them to cook either. You know? I'll show you. Um, let me put this over here. The stove's not on yet. There we go. See, guys, I do them like that. You can get a lot without of a little bit of meat. You know, because when you add breadcrumbs too, that stretches, that stretches the meat. Maybe like that. Try and make them all, you know, not too big. So once I get all these rolled up, oh, the weather today is beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Nice and cool. Loving it. How's your weather? Brad, if you're watching this, I can't believe you remembered when you got me that towel, when I fell off the ladder. I forgot all about it. Oh, boy. So, yeah, just keep rolling them. If you've got kids, they can do this part. All right, let them roll the meatballs up. Let me smell it. Yeah, they smell really good. And I really didn't put, you saw, I didn't put hardly anything in it. That's because the cocktail sauce is going to be the star of this show. And then when I fry my meatballs, I like to get them, um, I don't know, like, not crispy, but browned. I like to get them nice and browned. And then it hardly takes any time to cook because they're so little. Yeah, you just cook it until your meatballs are done. Yeah, you want little, little ones. All righty, almost there, guys. Yeah, you want to have them all rolled before you start this because once these start frying up, it's going to go quick. Anybody doing anything special this weekend? I'm not. Not that I can think of anyway. I'll be doing more crocheting. I guess. Watch me some YouTube. Well, I'm trying to make this not so tiny. Take some from this meatball. All right, I think we're there. Yeah. Take a little. Yeah, for some reason, I, do, I can't, I like a hamburger. I do like that because I can put a lot of stuff on it, like cheese, ketchup, mustard, relish, all that. But, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, ground beef anymore. And, yeah, so in the pot, I'm going to put a 32-ounce, now, if you don't want to make as much as this, use a small jar of uh, grape jelly and use one of the Heinz chili sauce or any the store brand chili sauce or whatever. This is what I've always used when I made it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be mixing it together. 
I actually have two of these. You know? So, first of all, I want to get... I want to get the jelly in here. Get my little spatula thingy. And get this jelly. Put it right in the pan. If you're saying, ugh... Guys, you have to try this. If you've never did, if you've never tried it before, I say give it a go. You won't be disappointed. I used to um, make this all the time for parties, you know. And if somebody said bring something, this is what I would bring, because it was super easy, and everybody likes it. Everybody likes it. Now, if you think that this um, chili sauce is hot, it's not. It's not hot. So don't worry about that. And the jelly gives it sweetness. A little bit of sweetness. I love these spoonulas. They get everything out. All right. So. You put your grape jelly in there. Right here. Now you want to add your chili sauce. Just shake it out in there. Now, because I got the big jar of jelly, that's why I'm using two of these. If you use a small jar of jelly, use one. And then what I do is... Add a little bit of water. Shake it off. Put the top back on. Shake it off. And then I pour this into here. And shake it up. See all that in there that you get? And pour that in. There you go. Get all that goodness out. Now you want to blend this all together. Mix it all together. Now, when you cook this, that jelly's just going to melt right down. And it's going to give the best sweetness set to it. Not over, not overly sweet. Just right. All righty. And I'm going to put it on two. That's what I'm going to do with that. All right. Now over here, putting it on six just to get that oil hot. And yeah. Got a piece of meat in there. All right. So we got this on pretty low. And you want to, uh, you know, keep an eye on it until that jelly melts down. Don't add anything to this, to this chili sauce and jelly. Don't add no salt, no pepper, no spices. Because then that defeats the purpose of this recipe. So easy, right guys? 
All right, I got that oil going. Now, I'll drop the meatballs in. Just dropping the meatballs in. I should be able to fit all of these in there. I hope, anyway. There we go. They're starting to sizzle. Like I said, keep an eye on this over here. And I'll just put it on four, just to get it melted. This is good to take to a gathering. It's fast. Like I said, if you don't want to stand over the stove, just throw it all in a crock pot. But like I said, I like to fry my meatballs. I like to get the brownness on it. Yeah, I would still suggest if you're going to use a crock pot to fry these up, guys. So they don't fall apart. I'm getting me a spoon. I think a spoon will be better. Oh, they smell so good frying up. Already, and they're not even near where I want them. Did anybody go anywhere this summer? Anywhere special? Did anybody go on vacation? Yeah, so I can fry up. Let this jelly melt. Guys, these are so good, I can't even tell you. You gotta try it if you never did. And like I said, it's super easy. Now my ground turkey was very lean. That's why I had to add oil to it. See how it's, um, let me get this one, if I can. See how it's starting to get brown? That's what I want. We're getting there, guys. I like to shake them like that too. They're easy to roll over. When I said roll over, a song popped in my head. Roll over Beethoven. Ah. Oh. So once these get brown enough for me, for my liking, or for, you know, if you're making them for your liking, uh, 
You can put them on a paper towel to drain if you want. I'm not going to. And then you're just going to drop the meatballs in the sauce here. Let me see if I can show you this. See how the jelly is like melted down? Yeah, that's what you want. I fry them too to make sure they stay together. They don't fall apart. Plus I like it. I like the taste of them better. And then I'm just going to put it in here, you know, on low, and let the meatballs finish cooking. Yeah, I think that's good. See how I got them? So I'll shut that off. One more juice. And then I'm just going to drop the meatballs in the sauce. And let the meatballs finish cooking because they're not cooked. They're well on their way, but they're not, you know, cooked. So I'll have it on low. I don't know. Maybe for 45 minutes to an hour. Just so the sauce too, like they can get enveloped in the sauce. There we go. And here it is, guys. Let me show you. Now they will absorb, the meatballs will absorb all of this goodness in here. See it? I hope you can. Yeah, right there. So like I said, I'm gonna put it on here. Put it on like a two and let them all, let the sauce, you know, boil down a little bit or cook down a little bit get the meatballs all nice and saucy. And when they're done, we'll come back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, everyone, here they are. I cooked them like for 45 minutes. Uh, if they're small, 45 minutes. If you made bigger ones, you're gonna have to cook it longer. Uh, also, I wanna let you know that the sauce thickens up the longer it cooks, so. Here's what they look like right there. They smell really good. I got these from the Dollar Tree. It says plastic forks. You get 70 pieces. And it says for cats and plastique. Sounds French to me. Let's see where they come from. Yeah, they come from Canada. So, <laughs> okay. So what you want to do is have these in a bowl on the side, you know, a pretty plate or whatever. And uh, what you do is you take your little, cute little fork, and you can have them already stuck in there if you want, you know, to be easier. And you have the extra sauce to like dip them in. Guys, this is super hot, but anyway. Ah, do you want a bite? Here, you have the first bite. Ah, hot. Hmm, okay, let's try it. I haven't had these in years. I used to make them all the time, too. All right. 
Make sure you have your napkins. Meatball completely cooked. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, let me know if you ever tried these. It's super hot. Let them cool down a little bit. These are good if you're having a backyard uh, barbecue. Make potato salad, coleslaw, pasta salad, the meatballs. Really easy, real easy, 45 minutes. As long as it takes you to mix up the meatball mix and fry them. Yeah, but like I said, you could do it in the um, slow cooker if you want to. Yeah. Mm. And these are perfect for that. Mm -hmm. So good. If it wasn't so hot, I'd pop it. Hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Two thumbs up on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. See how that sauce, it just thicken, thickens right up. And it just coats the meatballs. See that? It just coats them. Oh, guys, these are so, so good. So good. Okay, guys, that's it for Fun Food Friday for today. Let me know what you think. If you never made them, are you going to try them? Mind you of all, I don't know. I can't even explain it. But um, they're really good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. But you have to try these. Yes, just grape jelly and chili sauce. You can use the strawberry, and I've done that before too. Any kind of grape jelly, you know, you can do that. Um, if you're not making a whole bunch of meatballs, you can get away with a small thing of jelly and one thing of um, chili sauce, too. Yeah. You want, only want two and one if it's going to be a lot of meatballs. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Until next time, bye now.